This is a brief overview of Forms for Health. One of the problems that has been identified is that during COVID-19, there's been an overload of information, meaning that key communication messages created by the Trust are not getting through to the vast majority of staff. So by clicking on the link contained in the text message, you're automatically presented with the latest news or key messages uh, that you would like those members of staff to see. Um, you can also monitor the effectiveness of your communications because you have the ability to report on how many staff have acted or not acted upon the message that they've been sent. Forms for Health has also been used to create SIT reps by the creation of a number of locally defined structured forms. Ensuring that there is a minimum staff complement available to deliver services has been a real challenge during COVID-19. So in the case that you see on the screen at the moment, you can create a form which allows you to identify the COVID-19 status of a particular cohort of staff. But there's been a number of different use cases where this has been, Forms for Health has been the solution. Um, just to give you some kind of an idea, uh, we've got SIT reps gathering COVID-19 PPE status data from over 10,000 out of hospital staff. In addition to that, there are a thousand providers across the entirety of GM who are providing SIT rep data in the same manner that you see here. There's been 12 forms in total that have been designed plus 50 dashboards which are created in Tableau which take the data collected by these structured forms and turn it into management information so that resources can be targeted appropriately whether that relating to a member of staff requiring a COVID test or PPE required in a care home.